Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from wherever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now we are recording this direction because we don't have electricity. We are experiencing power blackout and again I know the quality of the video is not going to be that much good but above all, you focus on the message. If you check in the news today, you will see that CS Kipchumba Murukumen has appointed CS for Defense Aden Dwelle's brother Abdi Bora Dwale as chairperson of the Kenya Railway Corporation Board. Look at that. A CS for Road and Transport appointing a brother to another CS for defense. And that is what is going on in Kenya Kwanza administration. And again, if you check deeper, you will see that the, the rehabilitation of the Kenya Railway, National Kenya Railway something, is undertaken by a multi-agents. Now with that move, again, you get closer to how Adam Dwellers' brother was appointed to this role. You will see that the multi-agents include the CS4 defense. That means Adam Dwale is also involved in this. The National Railway Line Rehabilitation Project is under is undertaken within a multi-agent framework bringing together Kenya Defense Forces, Kenya Railway, National Youth Service, National and Local Administration across all the counties where the railway line is placed. So when you see the Kenya Defense Force. Who is in charge of Kenya Defense Force? C.S. Aden Dwale. Now, going by that, it means Dwale is part of this rehabilitation project. And that explains how his brother got appointed to that role. So, the brother to Aden Dwale represent the hustlers in Garissa? <laughs> those are the questions. Now, as we continue this particular discussion, just a quick request for those who are watching and you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to our returning subscribers. Master, thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. Now, going by this appointment, there is one thing we have always said here that the Kenya Kwanda administration, like how the Shagwa puts it, it is a limited company whereby shareholders have a share. So if you're not a shareholder in this company, you have no role being part of it or claiming to be part of the Kenya Kwanda administration. So those who have shares, you can see how they are enjoying the appointments. But if you don't have shares, maybe through your brothers, your sisters, your cousins, your relatives, you have no way to waste your time that you are thinking you will get an appointment under the Kenya Kwanza administration. This is the same government we were told that it is for Mamamboga. It is for the border border. It is for the poor. It is for the hustlers. But we see who is who in this administration getting to appoint his brothers and relatives to position of power, position of influence. Nepotism. That is what is taking place in Kenya Kwanza. But above all, who is leading in this kind of, you know, appointments? This is a game that was started by the leader of UDA, William Samway Ruto. And if you don't trust, you can just go and check on the appointment that was done by Ruto. It is either you are from his tribe or if not, you are his relative. So he is led by a bad example. And now others are following the same suit. So we, this is not new. 
we expected this is how UDA is going to operate because that is what the party leader has taught his followers. So, for hustlers who are in Garissa, this appointment has come to a community. Imagine it has come to represent the youth, the women, men in Garissa County. But it has gone to a family that is already holding to a huge position. When is the Garissa people going to be empowered? Because now the appointment has been reduced to a family affairs. Sasa ndugu ya Aden Duala ana represent watu wa Garissa. Ni siku gani hasa na wa Garissa atakuwa appointed directly to represent other people there. So mtoto wa Garissa kutoka Garissa kule msomalia mkenya ambaye ako na nafasi na uwezo wa kufanya kazi hata wai pata kwa sababu kuna wale ambao wameeka majami zao mbele whether you qualify or not whether you are worth or not but as long as you are connected you get appointments and this is how a country get it wrong this is how an administration fails because if you have wrong people some people are appointed because of connection, but not because of their qualifications. They end up failing the nation. And that is what is eating to Kenya Kwanza. We don't know people whom they were appointed to position of power if really they have the capacity to do that work and deliver to the country at large. But above all, we have seen how Kenya Kwanza is failing. So, this can be connected to appointment of individuals who not have the capacity to deliver in a specific key areas of appointments. Lakini hapo ndo tumefika inamaanisha ya kwamba hata kama utangoja kazi Kenya hii utangoja sana na uenda usione chochote. Wale ambao wako na uhakika wa kupata kazi number 1 you should be a relative to those who are in power. Number 2 the William Ruto administration is teaching us that you should come from a community that where he's coming from. But above all, hata kila mtu hata pata, in that community, you should be well connected for you to get those appointments. Closely ukwe relative, ama mtu wakaribu sana, mwenye anaimba William Ruto, ama serikali ya Kenya Kwanza. So imagine, Dwale Asias for defense. He is part of the key uh, uh, he is part of the key multi-agency that will be in charge of this rehabilitation of the national railway. Alafu ndugu yake anakaa pande as the chairperson of the railway corporation board. <laughs> Tell me even if there will be some element of corruption here. Kuna manyatabia mangina kitu. Hii ni kazi ya jamii sasa. Hii ni kazi ya jamii. We are saying that Somalis are our brothers and sisters. They deserve such positions. But our problem is all about appointing some people from one family. Nisawa na hile mamba walisema hapa siku ingine. You see, Ufuna Jabukati is the former IBC chairperson. He ya meenda retirement. But his wife, he is the commissioner for Something there. Mambo ya rebe ni something. Then we are being told that Chebukati will be also a candidate in the upcoming recruitment of the Court of Appeal judges. So is it a family affair? It's the same thing we are seeing here. So Dwale, now brother. Kwani ya kuku wana Somali wengine wenye wanafana, wanatoshia kufanya kazi za inai? So Kenyans, we are going to wait for long and the best thing we can do is to avoid waiting because we are waiting for nothing. Hii ni serikali ya wenyewe na wenyewe wanaonekana. Kazi yetu tu ni kutafuta njia ya kupinga na kukataa uongozi wa ina hii. Watu kama hawa waenda nyumbani na sisi tutafuta viongozi ambao watasimama na wananchi. Wafanyie wananchi kazi, watagua wananchi kufanya kazi bila kujali kabila wana jamii ambao umetoka. Sasa kuna siku ingine tumeona wa Kenya 
wakicheka kwamba ukienda kule Uganda unapata president Museveni and appoint someone from the family in the position of power and influence what is the difference between that and what we are seeing today here the same thing so hakuna mambo ya kucheka tumefikia hapo sasa haya ni mambo ya kwamba you choose from family so that you are protected <laughs> I don't know your views but let us meet in the comment section to continue this discussion thank you so much and see you in our next video